Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of An Engineer's Opinion. This time I want to talk about virtual reality. So we have Sony, Oculus Rift, HTC slash Valve, all with a big virtual reality um, device right now. I'm not going to consider the Microsoft HoloLens in this because I'm considering that a augmented reality where they are overlaying information on what you actually see, but virtual reality is replacing what you see completely. So right now, it's mostly focused on games, but we have a long way to go when the entire market starts using it. I'm thinking they can make videos where you're in the place of the person, they're filming the video around, and you have a limited amount of head to look around. Uh, there's a couple of YouTube videos out uh, right now where they actually already do this, if I can find the links, I'll put them in the comment section for sure. But I'm really excited for VR. The prices are a little steep right now, but they're going to go down eventually as the technology improves, as it gets cheaper to make the high precision, high performance graphics, not graphics, um, screens that you need for these. Basically, they're smartphone screens right now, and those get cheaper every year. You see smartphones kind of going down. And eventually you're going to hit a point where they can't really get any better for the screens. Really, they just need a really high refresh rate. The resolution is pretty decent already. You know, it's only a couple inches from your face. You don't need, you know, the crazy 4K stuff uh, when it's that close to your face. The 2K stuff will work just fine. And that's pretty much what they use already for the Oculus. So right now it's all games. They're, they're pretty fun. Uh, a lot of are space games. I've seen a couple where you're kind of running around shooting. Um, they'll need to make sure they couple this with great controller interfaces. I've seen a few things where you kind of strap yourself into like a little harness thing and you're walking around on a treadmill to really immerse yourself in the game. And that's what they're going to have to really focus on is what kind of platforms can we interact ourselves with here and interface with easily that we can push out to the masses to let everybody use this. And so when this stuff gets real cheap, they are going to be able to focus on the more hobby mainstream guys. Right now it's like the real enthusiasts because these are like $400. That's not too much for a gaming system, but you know, only one person can enjoy it at a time. So it's a little different than buying like a game console where, you know, 500 bucks you can play four or five people all going at once where I'm buying a headset for four hundred dollars you know not everybody's gonna be able to afford like four of those and you all sit on the couch and bump heads into each other when everybody's kinda of looking around so the technology has a little bit to go there to make it kinda of safe for a whole group of people to join together eventually we're gonna see some big like MMOs or something where everybody's joining together in this VR world and they're all walking around it's gonna be sweet but for now, the technology is um, moving along. Video games will drive it. Eventually, we'll see more walking through like a house for a virtual tour so you don't have to drive all over the city, uh, which is a nightmare. Viewing all these different houses, they're going to be able to walk through it once with a big camera rig, virtually record everything, and then you go to the realtor's office, sit down, walk through six different houses in a couple hours, you're good to go. You've seen them all. I mean, then you, then you can actually pick out, I want to go see this one or this one. I don't have to go to 30 houses and waste an entire week looking at houses, which will be really, really nice. And there's a lot of different touring aspects and, you know, staycations you can do. You load up some VR package and you go all over the place. It's going to be great. Uh, it's going to drive a lot of jobs, um, figuring out how to map all that kind of stuff and allowing it to hit the masses. I can't wait. And that's an engineer's opinion.